With no physical home button on the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, some things are different from previous versions of Samsung's flagship phones, namely taking screenshots. But there's no shortage of ways to do just that. Here are three different ways to take screen captures on the Galaxy S8. Instead of pressing the physical home button and power button at the same time, the Galaxy S8 now has the same screenshot hotkey combination as most other Android phones. Press the power and volume down buttons at the same time and hold until you see the screen capture taken. After taking a screenshot, you're immediately given the option to edit the picture with annotations or by cropping. An older feature Samsung introduced several years ago is the palm gesture. You can find it under settings, advanced features, home swipe to capture. To take a screenshot, simply swipe the side of your hand across the screen in either direction. You'll see the same screen capture animation as before. This gesture can be a bit clunky and difficult to trigger. It often causes unwanted input on the screen, forcing you to take multiple screenshots to get exactly what you want. If you'd rather only capture a specific portion of the screen to begin with, you'll want to use the Smart Select Edge panel. To enable it, go to Settings, Display, Edge Screen, and toggle it on. Then swipe from the right edge of the screen where you see the indicator. Tap the Settings button at the bottom, and then tap the checkbox above the Smart Select panel. To take a screenshot, swipe over from the edge of the display again, swipe until you reach the Smart Select panel, and choose between Rectangle, Oval, or Animation. Drag and resize the window and hit either Done or Record. Then once you're finished, you can annotate the screen capture and save it. You can also use the Pin to Top capture to grab information from the screen and hover it over another app for reference. For more Galaxy S8 tips and tricks and other how-tos, go to cnet.com forward slash how-to.